close squeaking. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I was going to do a quick video on um, mixing the paints and how they might differ when you're mixing them so it's not exact science with everyone, with every paint. Um, so here I've got my little Dixie cups and they're about three-fourths, um, quarter way full of just the school glue, um, which is thinner than the glue wall. So we'll just keep that in mind um, when you're mixing. Um, and this is just a deco metallic um, teal. Uh, in this type of bottle, she can't see that because there we go. And then this one is a Master's Touch acrylic fluorescent yellow. Got this on sale, so I was gonna try to use it. But a tube paint versus like a little bottle paint, and you'll be able to tell the difference when they come out. Um, and I need to scoop this up so you can see it. There we go. So I'm going to um, just squirt some of this in there. Um, and the better quality of paint that you use, the less paint that you can use when mixing it with your pouring medium. Um, these are not expensive paints. Um, these Masters Touch, oh, this was on sale for $1.49, um, but usually they are, um, you can get them on sale at um, Hobby Lobby um, on their 40% off days where you can buy their canvases and then Masters Touch paint. Um, so could you see how much I added to each one of those? Probably about the same amount. This one has a little less in it. This is probably a better quality paint, the Master's Touch. Um, but they're all good for fun. So I'm gonna stir that in. It's just so much thicker than the other one too. So it's gonna take me a minute. I'm gonna try to go fast. <laughs> and just make sure you scrape your sides and your bottom, the bottom really good um, to get all the glue incorporated, or the paint incorporated into the glue. Um, and you can see how thick that is. Let me get up closer. I'm sitting on a stool. Hang on. Let's see. Where's my little camera? And you see how thick that is. This is like the mound on the mound on the mound on the mound is when they talk about that. I'm going to thin that out a little bit. Um, and this one probably won't have to be thin as much just because it is a more fluid paint in the um, bottle. So I'm going to stir it up real good. this one kind of it's not as thick it's still pretty thick so I'm just gonna add a little squirt of water in here not very much um, and then mix it again actually I think I had too much we'll see if I can pour yep. all right I poured some off onto my puppy pad and you can tell that's the same puppy pad that we've been using um, but my cups are still level where they're placed that are now painted on there pretty much Can you see that good? The mound on the mound, but kind of dissolves in there. Um, so that's what I'm going to attempt to get this one. So definitely this one's going to need a little bit more water. And just be careful when you start mixing because it will splash out. Um, so if you're not holding it over your table, you might want to. See, just did it accidentally. Um, and this is why a lot of my clothes have paints on them. And usually I'm painting in my pajamas um, or an old sweatshirt because. I have developed a lot of clothes with paint on them um, just because I forget that I don't have my apron on and I usually wipe my gloves on my shirt sometimes um, but still that is way still too thick it just comes off in a big glob um, so a tad more and then we'll be ready to do our thing start slow start slow at first and just kind of go back and forth that will incorporate it in there So depending on what type of paint you're using um, and the thickness of the paint will depend on how much water you will add. You can use the same amount of the glue or glue oil or whatever pouring medium you choose. Um, and um, pretty much the same amount of paint um, unless you're using super high quality paints, which I won't be using on this channel, um, but I still get really high quality paintings. Um, so this is thinned out, looks a little bit better, so it's still kind of heavy, it'll be heavy. Shoot, hang on, let me do one more dibble. Sorry.
this is what takes so long is mixing your paints um, choosing your colors mixing them up um, getting everything the right consistency because either you want them all thin you, you pretty much want all your paints the same consistency um, depending on the type of pour um, but no matter what the pour is some paints all have to be thin some have to be thicker um, so I think I'm good here if you can see that okay so what I'm going to do today is I'm almost still up here because my legs are hurting today um, I'm going to um, just do an open cup there's my little um, canvas panel. These are also nice to use. Not only are they cheap um, and they're good practice ones, but if you ever want to frame something um, and you see a picture on sale, I do this a lot. If you see a picture on sale at like Hobby Lobby, you can buy that picture, take it out, and put your thing in here by frame with a mat on it, and you can frame your picture. Or you can keep this as your background and put a small picture of whoever or whatever in the center of your pour. Um, so what I'm looking for now is a, actually I'm just going to use one of these small cups because I don't have very much paint on here. Um, let me set these over here. Did get some butane from my torch, so ready to go. Uh, ah! Um, so I'm going to start out with a little bit of this white paint. And this is going to be the one that I'm going to layer correctly. Um, remember we talked about like a dirty pour and a layered pour. This is going to be a layered pour. So I'm just going to pour each one on the side here. Uh, just in the edge of the cup and it'll run down. And go in there. I'm not pouring very much of each of these colors because I'm not pouring on a big canvas. That's a different color. That's Payne's gray, but the other colors besides that fluorescent yellow and then that um, teal that I just added are the same colors. So I know yellow and blue is going to give me green, so I might mix this yellow. Actually, I'm going to put, where's my gold? I already did my gold. So I think I'll put some silver between this blue and this yellow. And as long as you're pouring them from the side, they won't mix.
Thank you.